This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It's a 2014 Ram 1500 Crew Cab Short Bed. It's a 5.7 liter Hemi V8. It's four wheel drive. It's a Laramie leather package. Um, it has very low miles, 63,182 actual miles. Um, it uh, was a uh, trade-in we bought in Phoenix and it's a beautiful truck brought it here um did an inspection my guys hand me this cool truck runs and drives runs drives and looks great uh all we did was a detail uh, it says needs nothing unless you want to have a dent buster come to your house and take out a ding on the driver's side of the hood there's a little ding right there you can see that and what does else to say also has a ding on the corner of rear bumper on driver's side boom Right there. Other than that, I'm told this thing is pretty damn sweet. Um, anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around this truck. I'll show you it. We'll go inside the truck in a second. I'll start it, we'll go into the hood. Um, try all the switches and bells and whistles. Uh, we'll go on a ride. Uh, I'll show you the Carfax. I'll show you the Kelly Blue Book. Everything that we know about this truck, you will know. There is no secret keeping here. Uh, we don't have to worry about selling our vehicles. They're not hard to sell uh, when you're getting 700 to 1,000 people looking at our, your vehicle a day. The trick is to make sure that the right person buys it so there's no post-sale drama. The only way you can do that, keep the drama out, is by telling the truth, which sometimes is hard for our competition. <laughs> it's very easy for us because it's easy to sell these vehicles. Uh, we have a very large uh, following and they know that they're going to uh, get the unvarnished truth. If there's a problem, we are gonna tell you about it. If we know about it, you will know about it. That's how we roll. We also don't price them to make as much money as you possibly can. We price them fairly based on, on uh, the bills that we have to pay to get these things online, which is significantly less than our competition um, because of our location, because of the number of employees we have, for a lot of reasons. Um, but uh, we price them fairly and they move. And they move because we price them fairly. And I locked the door, didn't I? All right, let's. Uh, Let's see, first of all, not sure if the tailgate's on the lock or not. Yeah, it is. So it's got a power lock in the tailgate. These panels flip up. This hard tonneau cover flips up, all right, in panels, right? There's your backup camera here. So basically, you just kind of go like this like this and then you clip this in here boom that's that okay pretty simple did it with one hand right let's see that's locked that's unlocked all right let's fire this guy up oh gotta have your foot on the brake don't you there. Forgot. All right, 63,286 miles on the truck. Here is the uh, Carfax. Basically, they blend the Carfax and the Kelly Blue Book now at Carfax. History of events affecting this vehicle's value. They say it has a $27,380 $27, retail value. There's the VIN. No accidents, no damage reported. 63,182 was the last mileage reported to them. Here's the Carfax itself. My guys write good dealer services on it. Looks like it was last serviced uh, in Columbus, Ohio. And here's the Kelly Blue Book for a six and, three, six and a third foot bed crew cab. 
63,182 miles. Typical listing price would be $27,057 with a range of 24.9, basically 25,000 to 28.3. Okay, there's that. And then what do we have here? Oh yeah, Carfax also was able to produce the, uh, the actual window sticker for this car. So the base price in this truck was 52.9. Then you do all the add-ons. It's got 392 rear axle ratio, by the way, if you're curious. Total price in this truck was 61.1, and that doesn't include the dealer markup. So it probably sold somewhere around 63, $64,000 for this car, this truck, not too long ago. All right, under the hood. Window. Let's see, what do we need? We need seat back forward and back. Seat forward and back. I don't think passenger seats do up and down. They don't. Passenger seats and rams do not go up and down. There's your wheel lock. Wheel lock key right here. Not sure why they have two of them other than they wanted you to have two of them. Do -do -do that some weather tech deals here pretty truck somebody's gonna really like this truck okay and I got the window locks on there all right. The old kitty locks on the windows. There you go. Window up and down. It has the WeatherTech mats. There's also cloth mats if you want them. We just leave we're leaving them in the back here in case you want them. You got a plug here you got heated rear seats boom power plug there That's some AC vents back here seats are beautiful a nice job designing this truck stickers where they belong everything going on there window window Let's see what else we got. Mirrors. Out, in, up, and down. Other side, out, in, up, and down. Got power pedals. Down and up. All right, let's see. You got tilt wheel. Let's see if I can do this with one hand here or not. There you go. That's up and down. Okay. Seat forward, back, up, and down. Seat back forward, and back. Perfect. All right, let's hop in this guy. Seat belt on. All right, let's see. Oh, there's navigation right there. We're on Gardner Lane. That's where we belong. Let's see. Radio. Water. It doesn't have water in it. It heats the water Let's as see. it passes through. Oh boy. Instantly. Instantly. And as hot as you want. So we're talking about instantly. Here. 
Oh, I see. So I've got steering right back here. That's your change the station behind the uh, steering wheel. And then I'm guessing right here, here's the volume back here. There's the steering control volume right there. So that all works fine. Let's see, what else we got back? Let's see, controls. There's your heated seats, bended seats, heated steering wheel. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see, turn this on. Climate control. Bum, bum, bum. What's else? Here. Perfect. Let's see, what else? I don't think we need this heated steering wheel on, so we'll turn that off. Yep, more controls down here. In the center console, you've got your SD slot, a USB and an auxiliary, and a power plug there. You have another AC-DC plug there. Trailer stuff here. Let's see, let me put it into neutral. Go to four low. Shift in progress. Slip control goes off when you're in four low. Put it in drive, which I just did. And drive forward. All right, and then we're gonna go into reverse. There's your backup camera. Let's see if the parking sensors work here. Yep, they do. I hear them. All right, now we go to neutral. I'm gonna go to uh, four high. So now we're in shift in progress there to four high. Boom. All right, now we go drive. Go out the gate this time. And then we go to reverse in four high. Perfect. All right, then we're gonna go to neutral. I'm gonna go back to two-wheel drive. Shift in progress, bang, we're done. There you go. All right, uh, what else do we, oh, we need to test the uh, rear window. And let's see, roof, roof's important. This is a nice truck. And the AC works really well, like too well. Let's turn that down. It's a little chilly today in Tucson. All right, uh, let's see, what else we got here? Fuel, this is this thing right here. Fuel economy, tire pressures, speedometer. Let's be in park for screen setup. So let's go to here. Now we can go here. Oh, I see. Bang, bang. Put it, all these gauges. We can do all kinds of cool stuff with this. Anyway, all right, well, let's, let's just go back to a speedometer here. There it is. Kilometers, we gotta change that, don't we? Press that for miles there. All right, let's go to drive, and let's drive this thing. All right, if you come to Tucson and drive this cool truck home, you will pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, plus our city of 2.7%, and a $250 dock fee. If you decide you're gonna pay by wire and ship out of state, uh, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price. There'll be no tax, no doc fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan that in your online file, and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. You will have the truck shipped to you. The title will be uh, um, in your mailbox before the vehicle shows up, obviously. Once your shipper shows up with your truck, you'll go to uh, uh, motor vehicles in your state and get plates. It's quite simple. If you need help with shipping, ask at the very beginning of this process through our email system. Joey can help you, either give you advice or do it for you. He could roll it into the price of the vehicle, all kinds of things. Um, either you know, If you're getting screwed by the guy you hired, uh, he could tell you. Um, he knows what this is supposed to cost, okay? So you know, if you're not gonna use him to actually do the shipping, at least ask him the questions and he'll help. Um, Deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Please make sure you get your deposit in. Um, better jump on this thing, huh? Nice truck. Sweet truck. Really nice truck. Um, anyway, get your deposit in.
uh, once we have your deposit, it won't be for sale. Until it's uh, got a deposit, it will be for sale. Um, it does have a couple little rock, one rock chip here and one right here. We can get windshields for $139. If you want a windshield, it doesn't really need one, but if you want a nice clean windshield, we can get that done for you. If you let us know and add $139, we'll get it done. Uh, I don't know, that's probably something I would do, but a lot of people wouldn't care. Um, but like I said, part of our video and our ads and our just the way we do business is to tell people what they're buying. Last part of the video, I say this every single time I sell any of our vehicles, I have for 13 years, this is no different with this vehicle. We don't have salesmen, so you're not paying for that in the price of the vehicle. We don't have a cool zip code. You saw where I just came from. That's a nice yard, holds some vehicles, and that's all it does. All right, we don't have fountains in the mall next door like they do at the auto mall here. Uh, so we're not paying for zip code. You're not paying for zip code. We're not paying for salesmen. You're not paying for salesmen. We don't have a lounge to hang out in and bottled water with our name on it and lattes and an attendant. They got all that crap at the auto mall. That's all in the price that you're paying at the auto mall, not in our price because we don't have it. Um, they also know at the auto mall that if something breaks in this truck after they sell it to you, you're going to want it fixed. They charge you for that up front too, trust me. Uh, I'm intimately aware of how it works. Um, we don't charge you for repairs up front because we're not fixing your truck, okay? This is your truck, we give you the Carfax, we give you the Kelly, we give you everything that we possibly could ever know about this truck, you will know, okay? Um, and in exchange for that, in exchange for not charging you for all that stuff, um, you are uh, saving a bunch of money, okay? So please realize that uh, if something breaks, you're gonna get it fixed yourself on your dime and we aren't writing checks for anything. Uh, if we wrote checks for stuff, then we would have to write checks for everything because there's nothing on this property that's not going to break eventually, nothing. Not even that little GTR right there. <laughs> that car will break also, everything breaks, okay? It's a question of when it breaks, okay? Um, we just like people to know how we roll. This is a beautiful truck, man. I'd get in this thing and I'd roll with pride all over the country right now towing something. But, you know, we just want people to know how we operate, okay? I think that's it. He's got to do pictures of that one and then this one. Thank you for your time.